Hi, I'm Gary Parsons. I'm down at the St. Paul Ice Show, the 2017 show. We're here at the show right now, and I just want to take a minute and show you the shack that I pretty much live in in the winter months. This is the X200 Thermal, Pro Thermal. It's the shack that we use to film the Next Byte television show with. It's the shack that I use personally in a lot of the places that I go when I'm not doing TV. The reason that I like this shack is because it's got a very heavy duty tub. I can take it out on the biggest lakes like Shawamigan Bay up by Ashland where I live or Lake of the Woods or I can travel out to Devil's Lake or any place where there's big bodies of water where there's rough ice. I don't have to worry about exploding the base or the, the tub on the shack because it's built very, very tough. The materials that this shack is built out of is, are also very tough. This uh, Pro Thermal has an 1800 denier, which is the thickest insulation that they have on shacks. Uh, it's just everything about the shack is built big and beefy. The pole systems are the largest pole systems that are available. You've got a very easy uh, lever system, so when it's real cold, 20 below zero out, I still can, can collapse the shack or expand it with one hand. I'm not searching for little buttons or any of those sorts of things. One of the things I like about the shack uh, is this apron, the wind apron that's across from here. When you're shopping for a shack, there's a lot of versions, a lot of price points, a lot of different uh, styles of shacks, but I really like this wind skirt. I put it together all the time because it closes off the corners and that allows me to keep the shack nice and warm. I don't have wind coming in through those corners blowing out the pilot lights on my heater. Okay, and that if you ice fish much at all, you know that can be a problem on the really windy days. Uh, because of the thickness of the insulation, you can heat this shack pretty easy down to 20 below. Never had an issue. To, to, and that's where I'm unzipping my ice suit and, and fishing comfortably. Sometimes even taking my jacket off inside. So I really like that. It's a very big roomy shack. I've got windows all around so that if you're using hot boxes or tip-ups outside, you can see them. There's a back door. I don't use the back door very much, but a lot of people like to come and and uh, just for the storage that you have back here, they've got good access to it. Overall, you're looking at a shack that's nice and high so that if I'm teasing a fish up off the bottom, I still have room for a hook set. As I'm up here, set the hook, I can stand up and reel down into the fish and fight them standing up. I do that especially on big fish, not so much crappies and bluegills, but if we're in a big walleye bite, Lake Winnipeg or if Erie freezes over, we like to catch those big fish. So I've got those options. Overall, for me personally, for as much ice fishing as I do, uh, and I do have snowmobiles and I have four wheelers to pull this with, so it's not, it's not a shack that you want to tow by hand, but if you've got the equipment, this is one of the toughest, most useful and user-friendly shacks on the market today. The Clam X200 Pro Thermal.